Hackers are like ghosts in the machine. They slip into systems, leaving chaos in their wake, but they don't want to get caught. Their goal is to remain hidden, to operate in the shadows. Why? Because getting caught means facing consequences. Hackers erase their digital footprints to avoid detection. They don't want to leave a trail that leads back to them. Think of it like this. If you were robbing a bank, you wouldn't want to leave your fingerprints everywhere. The same goes for the digital world. Every click, every keystroke, every online interaction leaves a trace. Hackers know this, and they take steps to cover their tracks. They use various tools and techniques to make themselves invisible. Their reasons for hiding vary. Some hackers are motivated by profit, stealing data or money. Others are driven by political or social agendas. Regardless of their motives, they all share one goal, to remain anonymous. VPNs and proxy servers are like masks and mirrors for hackers. They obscure their true identity and location, making it harder to track them down. Let's break it down. A VPN or virtual private network creates a secure tunnel between the hacker's computer and the internet. All traffic goes through this encrypted tunnel, hiding it from prying eyes. Imagine sending a postcard through a sealed envelope. No one can see what's written on it. Proxy servers act as intermediaries. When a hacker uses a proxy, their requests are routed through the proxy server before reaching the destination. This way, the website or service they're accessing sees the proxy server's IP address, not the hacker's. Think of it like this. You want to send a gift anonymously. You ask a friend to deliver it for you. The recipient gets the gift, but they don't know it came from you. These tools are readily available and easy to use. Hackers can easily mask their location and make it seem like they're operating from a different country. Imagine trying to read a book written in a language you don't understand. That's what encryption does to data. It scrambles information into an unreadable format, making it useless to anyone without the decryption key. Hackers use encryption to protect their communications and data. They encrypt their files, emails, and even their entire hard drives. This way, even if someone gets their hands on the data, they won't be able to access it without the key. Think of it like a locked safe. The data is safe inside, but you need the combination to open it. Encryption is a powerful tool that adds an extra layer of security to a hacker's activities. There are many different encryption methods, each with its strengths and weaknesses. Hackers often use strong encryption algorithms that are difficult to crack, even with powerful computers. By encrypting their data, hackers make it much harder for law enforcement or security researchers to track them down or gather evidence. Every computer system keeps logs, records of activity and events. These logs can contain valuable information about what a hacker has been doing. That's why hackers try to erase their tracks by deleting these logs. Think of it like wiping away your footprints in the sand. Hackers use special tools and commands to delete specific files or entire directories. They may also overwrite the empty space on their hard drive with random data, making it harder to recover deleted files. However, deleting files doesn't always mean they're gone forever. Data recovery techniques can sometimes retrieve deleted information. That's why hackers often take additional steps to ensure their tracks are truly erased. They might use software that securely wipes data, overwriting it multiple times with random patterns. They might even physically destroy their hard drives to prevent any chance of recovery. Section 5, Ghost Protocol Social Engineering Tactics. Hacking isn't always about technical prowess, sometimes it's about manipulating people. That's where social engineering comes in. Hackers use social engineering tricks to cover their tracks and deceive others. They might impersonate someone else, create fake online profiles, or use phishing emails to trick people into revealing sensitive information. By creating a false trail, they divert attention from their real activities. Think of it like a magician's misdirection. While the audience is focused on one hand, the other hand is making the real magic happen. Hackers use social engineering to distract and deceive, making it harder to pinpoint their true identity and intentions. They exploit human weaknesses like trust, helpfulness, and fear. By preying on these vulnerabilities, they can manipulate people into doing their bidding, often without the victim even realizing they've been manipulated. Section 6. The Art of Disappearing, Covering Tracks Online. The internet is like a vast ocean of information, and hackers are masters of blending in. 
They know how to cover their tracks online, making it difficult to trace their movements. They use temporary email addresses that self-destruct after a certain time. They browse the web using anonymous browsing tools that don't store cookies or browsing history. They even use public Wi-Fi networks to further anonymize their activities. Think of it like leaving no trace when camping in the wilderness. Hackers are careful not to leave any digital garbage behind. They clean up after themselves, removing any evidence of their presence. They understand how search engines work and take steps to minimize their online footprint. They avoid using their real names or personal information on websites and forums. They are ghosts in the digital world, leaving only the faintest of whispers behind. Section 7. The Need for Speed. Why timing is everything. Time is of the essence when it comes to erasing digital footprints. The longer a hacker stays on a system or network, the more likely they are to leave traces. That's why they operate with speed and precision. They get in, get what they need, and get out, all while covering their tracks as they go. Think of it like a surgical strike. They plan their moves carefully, execute them swiftly, and leave no trace behind. They understand that every second counts, and they use automated tools and scripts to speed up their work. They also know when to disconnect and disappear, leaving security researchers scrambling to piece together what happened. This element of surprise is one of their greatest assets. By the time their activities are detected, they've already vanished, leaving behind a trail of false leads and dead ends. Section 8. False Flags and Decoys Misleading the Enemy Hackers are masters of deception. They use false flags and decoys to mislead investigators and throw them off their scent. They might plant fake evidence, create diversions, or even frame someone else for their crimes. Think of it like a game of chess. They anticipate their opponent's moves and set traps to protect themselves. They create a web of illusions, making it nearly impossible to distinguish between truth and fiction. They might use stolen identities to create fake online personas, leading investigators on wild goose chases. They might also manipulate data to create false trails, sending security teams down the wrong path. By the time the deception is uncovered, the hacker is long gone, leaving behind a trail of confusion and frustration. Section 9. The Cat and Mouse Game Law Enforcement's Challenge Catching a skilled hacker is like trying to catch a ghost. They are elusive, adaptable, and always one step ahead. Law enforcement agencies face a constant uphill battle in their pursuit of these digital phantom thieves. The constantly evolving nature of technology adds to the challenge. New tools and techniques emerge every day making it difficult for law enforcement to keep up. It's a never-ending game of cat and mouse with hackers constantly finding new ways to outsmart the authorities. The global nature of cybercrime further complicates matters. Hackers can operate from anywhere in the world making it difficult to track them down and bring them to justice. International cooperation is often required, which can be a slow and cumbersome process. Section 10, staying ahead of the curve, the evolution of evasion. The world of cybersecurity is in a constant state of flux. As new security measures are developed, hackers find new ways to circumvent them. It's an arms race with both sides striving to outmaneuver the other. Hackers are always learning, adapting, and sharing information. They congregate in online forums and underground communities, exchanging tips and tricks on how to evade detection. They are relentless in their pursuit of anonymity and freedom. They embrace new technologies and exploit vulnerabilities in software and hardware. They are always searching for the weakest link, the one chink in the armor that they can exploit to gain access. This constant evolution of evasion techniques makes it difficult to develop foolproof security measures. It's a never-ending cycle of attack and defense with no clear winner in sight. Section 11. The future of digital footprints, a never-ending chase. The battle over digital footprints is far from over. As technology advances, the methods for erasing and tracking these footprints will continue to evolve. It's a race with no finish line, a constant pursuit of anonymity in an increasingly interconnected world. Artificial intelligence and machine learning are being used to both cover and uncover digital footprints. Quantum computing threatens to break current encryption methods while new forms of cryptography aim to stay ahead of the curve. One thing is certain, the cat and mouse game between hackers and those who hunt them will continue. As technology reshapes our world, the battle for control over our digital identities will only intensify. 
The future of digital footprints is uncertain but one thing is clear, the quest for anonymity and the pursuit of accountability are forces that will continue to shape the digital landscape for years to come.